video is for American government, highlights from pages 206 to 213. So looking at uh, local government and how it's set up and the, uh, the various roles that it, uh, that it has. So on page 206, under county government, highlight, the largest unit of local government in most states is the county. And just under that, highlight units of government known as counties in most states are called parishes in Louisiana, and in Alaska, they are called boroughs. So know those names for them. There's, uh, they're called counties, parishes, and boroughs. All different names for the same thing. On page 207, um, under functions of county governments, find the bold term county seat. Highlight the city in which a county government has its headquarters is referred to as the county seat. Uh, the county has various roles. You can read about them there. Uh, last thing on page 207, find the Board of Commissioners in bold. Highlight the Board of Commissioners is most common. This is the, uh, the county board that helps to uh, make decisions in the county. Okay, no highlights on... 208 or 209 on page 210. Find the bold term town meeting. Highlight the unique feature of traditional town government is the town meeting, an example of direct democracy. Uh, many smaller New England towns still continue to follow uh, this form of government. Uh, maybe your town has uh, these types of meetings. You can see a picture there. Got some uh, townspeople there making decisions, deciding how uh, how their town's going to be run. So very unique to uh, to New England, and kind of cool that it's uh, it's something that's been done all the way since uh, the earliest of colonial days in New England. On page two hundred eleven, find uh, municipal charters. With that, highlight a municipality is incorporated, meaning that it has been designated as a legal government organization with certain rights and responsibilities. And a little bit further down, find the term city charter. Highlight a city charter is a legal document granted by the state which outlines a form of government for the city. On the top of the second column there, find mayor council form. Highlight the oldest and most widely used form of city government is the mayor council. So there are popularly elected uh, city council members and uh, the voted for um, mayor. So you can see the basic forms of government there. We've got the mayor council form, city voters elect uh, mayor administers with the city council, municipal judges, and the mayor administers the city departments. And we've got the various forms there. The mayor council is the most common. All right, turning to page 212. Uh, second column towards the bottom under urban growth, find the bold term zoning. Highlight one important aspect of city planning is zoning dividing a city into numerous zones and regulating the use of property in each zone. So there are three different uh, kinds of zones, or main kinds, you don't necessarily need to know these, but they are residential, commercial, and industrial. And those will be broken down into various categories of their own. So if something is slated for a uh, residential zone, it means that uh, certain, um, certain kinds of businesses cannot, uh, cannot be built there. On page 213, find the bold term suburbs. Highlight suburbs, the developed areas outside the city limits. Can you have the definition of that? You have a picture of the aerial view there of the suburbs outside San Francisco. 
see the, the cityscape in the background, and then um, in, the, in the forefront of the picture, you've got the smaller homes, uh, apartment buildings, and those are the, that's the spread of the, the suburbs outside the inner city limits. Last highlight on page 213, second column, find the bold term metropolitan area. Highlight metropolitan area is a major city and the populated area surrounding it. So that's the last of the highlights. Make sure you've got all of those. Answer your homework section and let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you complete all of your reading and uh, be studying your verses in, uh, in Timothy. Have a great day.